Hello, dear viewers of YouTube. This is Eduardo again, your host from Costa Rica. I hope you're doing just fine. Okay, on this video, I will be reading uh, a text or an extract from a newspaper from Kenya that is called Taifa Leo. I feel motivated about doing this because it's a way to improve myself, my knowledge of this language that I have been learning for quite some years, and also to promote this usage and to make others to become interested in learning this marvelous language. So as you know, I have been studying Swahili since 2015, let's say more formally, but I have you know, stop quite a few times, but now I am determined to, to reach the end of this process. So now guys, I will be sharing the screen and I'll show you uh, the text that I will be reading for you. All right. So as you can see, the title is Biashara Yasiagi Yafaidi Walemavo, which means the butter business ben benefits the handicapped. Biashara Yasiagi Yafaidi Walemab by Brian Ocharu, na Brian Ocharu. So let's start. Wakati kundi la wanawaki wanawishi na ulemabu katika neo lavok, county ya Mombasa, lilipo kusanika ili kusaidiana kutokana na matatizo ya kiuchumi yanayowakabili hawa kujua kwamba umoja wao ungeza mradi ambao umewapa sababu za kutabasamu mradi wa kutengeneza siagi ndio umekuwa kitega uchumi kwa ziadi ya wanawake 15 ambao wako katika kundi hilo linalojiita tunawesa PWD wanawake wao wanawake hao wamekodisha nyumba katika eneo la VOC wana wanakofanya mradi huo kundi hilo pia linawasaidia wasasi wa, wa kundi hilo pia linawasaidia wasasi wa watoto wanaoishi na ulemavu kupitia mradi huo wa kut, kutengesa ziagi. Siku ya kawaida mkurugensi wa mradi huo Charity Chahasi husimamia shughuli za kutengeneza ziagi. Mwandishi huyu alipotembelea mradi huo wiki iliyopita bi Chahasi na wanafanya kazi wengine walieleza utaratibu wao wa kuongeza thamani na maana ya mradi huo kwa kikundi chao na wanajamii walio katika mazingira magumu katika eneo hilo tulianzisha kiwanda hiki cha jamii cha siagi kama njia ya kuhakikisha kwa wanawake na watoto wanaoishi na ulemavu wanapata msaada wa kiuchumi na kuathiriwi na hali zao za kimaumbile kimaumbile alisema chahasi mradi huo ulianza mwaka wa 2016 kwa kuusa siagi iliyochakatwa hapa nchini na kuwalipa wanachama waliofanya mauzo asilimia ya faida walianza na mashine yao ya kwanza ilikuwa na uwezo wa kusindika kilo mbili kabla ya kununua mpya ambayo inaweza kusindika hadi kilo hamsini kwa siku mchakato wa kutengeneza siagi katika kiwanda kidogo cha kuongeza thamani kama hii ya tunaweza CBO ni cha makini ni cha kushangaza kwani unaanza kutoka shambani njugu kuvunwa visuri wakati udongo umekauka vya kutosha hivyo hatushi kamana na mashina na maganda 
kisha hatua ya pili ni kuwa sina zinaondolewa kwenye magamba na machumaji na kusafirishwa kwa ajili ya kukashua ya kukaushwa tu ya kukaushwa mimea hiyo hupelekwa kwenye vyumba vya kuhifadhia kwa ajili ya kusafishwa shirika hilo hupata njugu zao kutoka kwa wakulima wakubwa katika kaunti ya ya Busia and this is taken from Taila Taifa Leo which is a newspaper from Kenya so people i hope that it is useful for you my reading skills are not very good in Swahili. I'm aware that I need to improve. But reading articles from newspapers is really helpful for, for uh, broadening your understanding of this lovely African language. And uh, for sure that uh, you can help others to become interested in studying this language. You know, Swahili undoubtedly has gained popularity in the last few years. It's, I think that its interest is ravaging in social media, like Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. It's becoming quite popular. So I, have, I recommend you studying this lovely language, dedicate some time to it. Okay, thank you. Kwaherini.